Thank you. Let me get you water or something to drink. I'm fine. I will get you water. I'm sorry about this, Benson. Please, I'm sorry. Stop apologizing, man. Your health is more important than all of this. You both should be talking about your honeymoon. We can still have other honeymoon, but you are irreplaceable. Please tell him. Thank you. Thank you. I want to go and lie down. I will take you to your room. You are divorced? Yes, I am. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you. You should have told me. You should have mentioned it to me. I was scared. So scared you wouldn't accept me. Why did your auntie come to talk up to you on that day? She told me to take my responsibility up. Make sure I be a good father to my son, even though I don't want to have stuff with his mom. I see. Cherry, you are the woman I love and want to spend my life with, okay? Okay. I'm not hiding anything from you. Absolutely nothing. I told you I want to marry you, remember? And I mean it. I want to do things right with you. Okay. But if you say you don't want to be with me anymore because I was once married or because I have a son, I won't force you, Cherry. I will let go of you and I won't take anything back. All I've done for you, I've done out of a good heart. Ha! This is unbelievable. The death of the boy? Yes, Chrissy, Gina told me how she and Nancy had tried hard to take care of this boy and send him to school. Mm. I am telling you, this is the worst news I've heard today. This is bad news, Auntie. We need to go and see them. That's true, Auntie. Oh, God. Please be watching over us and our children. Let nothing happen to them, God. Amen. Oh, God. This isn't good, Chrissy. It is not good. Ah. Auntie, I'll go over to the house today. No, leave it till tomorrow. We will go together. Auntie, remember that I am a chef in the house when you come over. Is that what you're meant to be thinking? I said someone died. I'm sorry, ma. Call Chiki. Let him give you updates. Oh my god. My brother is gone. Why? Why? Who did I offend? Who? How will you join those boys, mom? I also didn't know. He was a good boy right from home. Mommy, whoever did this to my brother will also die. Amen. She never looks for trouble. He's always calm and loving. He doesn't find anyone's trouble. My brother. Mommy, I'm really sorry about this. Sorry, ma. Chike, they have to get those who did this to him. I've made some calls already. We'll get those involved. God, God, please help us get these people. So I will not see my son again. True, true. Who ever thought that Cherry would do something like this to me? I love that. I cared for her. I did everything she wanted me to do. What else did she want from me that I didn't do for her? What didn't I do for her? Sam, I came to check on you. I'm stepping out. By this time of the night? So many things have happened today. What happened again? Chike's wife lost her brother. Oh my god, Nancy. Yeah, I need to go and check on them. The hospital is not too far. You can go, baby. I will check on Nancy later. I'll be back soon. I thought you would be asleep by now. Can I be asleep? I don't think so. You need to rest and reduce stress in your brain with thoughts, brother. I can't help myself from thinking. She's not worth it, brother. I know. You know the funny part is that I don't even know what I did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong, Sam. Absolutely nothing. I wish I did something wrong. Cherry. Since she has moved on with her life, you will do the same. Not that easy. But possible. Don't go on sucking around because of a woman who didn't think twice before cheating on you. What do women want? Love. Not all women want love. Everyone wants something different. Because I gave Cherry love, care, attention. Yet, look at how she did to me. I also had a messy day, man. What happened? My woman almost left me, Chike. That is not a messy day. Yours has got something to do with a side chick. I know you don't like hearing about my Cherry, but that's all I've got to talk about. Why did she want to leave? She was pissed off that. Hey, guys. The groom shouldn't be here. I told you not to come. I need to use some drinks. I almost lost my brother-in-law. What? What happened? His wife left him. I just found out about it. She left him? Yeah, she did. Do you know how much this guy loves her? Like, he worships the ground she walks on. Only for her to do this. She must have her reasons for living. Like what? Women are complicated creatures made by God. We are lucky he's alive. Do you know he was almost acting in an unusual way as he found out? Like, talking to himself. Wow, he must really love her. Hello, Sam. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning. How are you doing and how's your body? I am much better. You left without seeing me, Sonia. I'm sorry about that. I had something to attend to. Oh, you didn't want to see me? I went to see you. 
You are not home though. No, I'm with Precious. She wouldn't allow me out of her sight. That's good. I'm sorry about all what happened. Yeah, I'm also sorry. But what can I do about it all? True. I don't think we will see anytime soon. We will. I'll call you once I go to the shop. Please rest at home today. Don't go to the shop, okay? How about if we go out then? I take you out on a lunch date. Lunch sounds great at least. I get to talk about what's bothering me. Don't think, Sam. See, I would have come over, but your sister won't want me around. Coming around is a bad idea. Instead, I'll let you know if I'll be available, okay? I can't believe he's gone. <gasps> I am so sorry about this, Gina. Do you know what they are saying? I heard. How can they say joint a court? My son isn't like that. He's not a type that gets involved with others. He's always focused on his own business. I am really sorry, Gina. Now all I've got left is Nancy. Just Nancy. Hey! <laughs> He's meant to come home long before now, but he had an issue with one of his courses. I am sorry, this is really painful. We paid a lot to send him to school, only for those useless cult boys to do this to him. I'm still making them to look at the case. My friend who is the commissioner of police promises that he would help us reach the root of this issue. Thank you, Mina. Thank you all for being here today. It means your word to us to have your support during this difficult time. Losing Joe has been the hardest thing I've ever had to face. I can't believe Joe is gone. He was only the one who brought laughter and joy into our lives. Joe had a way of making everyone around him feel better. His absence will be felt deeply. Gina, we are all here for you and Nancy. Losing a son and a brother is unimaginable, but you're not alone in this. Thank you, Mina. Thank you all for coming. I keep thinking about all these things. We won't get to do together anymore. Joe was my confidant. How am I supposed to go on without him? I know it's hard, Nancy, but we'll lean on each other and get through this together. Joe would want us to stay strong. Joe may not be physically with us anymore, but his spirit will live on in our memories and in the love we shared with him. Goodbye, brother. I'll miss you every day. Rest in peace, Joe. You always hold a special place in our hearts. Nancy, your brother is gone now. You are all that I have left, Nancy. I'll take care of you, mom, and I'll make sure to make you proud. I can't lose two children. Nancy, whatever you are doing that you know will bring harm to you, please stop it. Please. I can't lose you too, Nancy. Focus on your marriage and on having grandchildren for me, please. What will happen to me, Mom? By God's grace, I won't lose you, Nancy. Yes, Mom, you won't lose me. I love you and I'll be there for you. Hello, Becky. Jaffer, to you. Why have you been going around to see people? Why? Baby, I swear I didn't cheat on you. I don't care, Becky. Why are you doing this? Why? <laughs> you started again. See, we don't need to have this conversation, Becky. We don't need it, okay? Can you just stop with all this? Sign the divorce papers. I don't want to get a divorce. That's what I want. I want a divorce. I don't want it, please. <laughs> please, let's make our relationship work. Becky, stop making things hard for us. I'm also begging you. Let's end this marriage, please. I'm tired and I'm fed up of it all. Baby. Sign the documents and move on with your life, Becky. Please. It's good to see you. It's also good to see you, Sonia. You look more beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's been a while we last saw each other. You've grown more beautiful. If you say so then, I believe you. I've grown more beautiful then. So, how's everything been going? Everything has been going well, and you? How is everything? Everything is going well. I can see that you are much better compared to before. I have to be. My sister and her husband won't let me be all sulking. That's good. Yeah, it is. So, what would you love to have? I'm not really hungry. So, you came all the way here and you won't eat anything? Right now, I'm also hungry. Okay. Tell me all the things I've missed. What has been happening with you? Nothing much has been happening. Just the shop lately. Aside from the shop, what else? Nothing other than the shop, Sam. Just the shop, shop and shop, and then me also worrying about you. I know that also happened as well. I'm glad you're back on your feet, Sam. Me too, Sonia. I'm glad to be back on my feet. We've been driving for quite some time now. Yes, patience does the trick. Where are we going to? Somewhere really special. You want surprises, Ben. Anything to make my woman happy. 
I will definitely do it. I love you so much. I know. My brother wants to go back home. It's a good idea. He already talked to you, I see. He doesn't feel comfortable being indoor all day. Plus, you know the doctor said he's okay. I'm just scared here, yeah, that's it. I understand you, but nothing will happen to him, okay? I've heard you. And once he's home, I plan on helping him set up something bigger. Really? Yeah, you see, Sam is a hard worker. I didn't even know he was your brother. But since I've known him, he works very hard. And he deserves all the good things that comes his way. Who knew we would both end up together? I knew. From the first time I set my eyes on you, I knew it. Good afternoon, Auntie. Good afternoon, Jafet. I wasn't expecting you to show up. Why not, Auntie? You call and I will always respond. This has got to be the new Jafet. I told you, Auntie, what I did then was a mistake. Please take your seat. Thank you, ma. Becky called me. I told her not to call anyone, but she still refuses to listen. I made a promise to myself not to get involved with any of your matter anymore. As you are old enough to make your decisions, you are a man and a father. Auntie? Let me first finish, Jafet. See, but these actions you are taking, is this what you really want to do? Yes, ma. As someone who cares about you, I advise you to work things out with your wife. Becky doesn't want a divorce, Jafet. I want this, Auntie. Okay, then. I hope you two will sort things out. Not this time, Auntie. The lady you're about to marry, do you know she has got a husband? Yes, I do. They are getting a divorce as well. So you two want to divorce your spouse and then start your own family? Yes, auntie. She has been my lover right from high school. I see. Just like you and my dad. There is nothing similar to me and your dad. We both didn't ruin our families to have love. We didn't do that. Just think about what you're doing, Jafet. What's going on here, Nancy? I don't understand your question. I just saw you take your mom to one of the rooms. Yes, we saw that. With a bag. I'm guessing it has. Yes. What's the meaning of all this? I don't get. My mom and I are back together. And she said she wants to come and spend some time with me here. And I agree to it. Did you tell me about it? Do I have to tell you? Should I have left my mom back home with all that has happened? Did you tell me? I didn't. And that's because I don't have the time. She just told me this morning she'll be coming to stay with us. You should have told me. Plus, you know this marriage is a fake one. So why should your mom be staying here with us? My mom doesn't know this marriage is fake, remember? That's true. But if you wants me to, I can go and tell her this marriage is fake. You don't have to, Nancy. How is your mom feeling? She's much better than before, thank you. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm really sorry. Thank you. So, you are going home today? Yes, I am. I have disturbed the couples long enough. You have to, that's true. I know. I wanted to ask you, did she reach out to you? No, she didn't. Okay. Have you ordered a cab already? Yes, I have. <laughs> Aren't we there yet? We are there, but don't yet remove the blindfold. Take it off now. Oh my god, baby. I've watched you worry over your brother these past days. And I knew you needed a good treat. Did my brother know about this? He was the one who suggested it and did everything actually. Really? Yeah. He wanted us to get some time to ourselves and to also apologize for ruining our honeymoon. He didn't ruin it actually. I know he didn't. So, as a honeymoon gift, I got you this. Is that a car key? Yes, your own car. What? <laughs> Baby, oh my god, oh my. You have to find the car actually. That's the fun part here. Ma, your shop is big. I know. So I spent a lot of money on this just by looking at it. Yeah, I know. So are you back with him or what? Yes, I'm back to him. Really? So you're going to be a second wife or what? I'm definitely not going to be a second wife. I'm only wife. How is that going to happen? He and his ex-wife are divorced. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I'm still going to marry him. He apologized to me after everything. It's good. How is Sam? I've been meaning to ask. He's doing fine. I went by the house, but it was locked. How would you go by the house? What do you want to do there? I wanted to talk to him. Maybe I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. If he's almost fine, but because he met him, how do you think he will react to seeing you? Just let him be for now. Avoid him, okay? I thought about that soon. Just allow Sam find himself and his happiness again. Please don't cause more damage to him. Let him be. Okay. For me, you are welcome to stay as long as you want. Are you sure about that? Yes, mom. My husband doesn't have any issue with your presence here. Okay, then.
Good afternoon, good afternoon. You are welcome. Don't tell me you are the chef. Yes, I'm Chike's chef. Chike's chef? Is that what you just said now? Mommy, she calls him by his name. That's how they both relate to each other. This is your mom, Miss Gina. Good evening, ma. Good evening. I saw you the last time I came to this house to see my daughter's husband. I remember, ma. So you are the chef? Yes, ma. I'm the chef. I see. But why would you be calling your boss by name? That's what he asked me to address him as TK. Do you also call my daughter by name? Of course not, ma. Let me go to the kitchen and make you something special to eat as a welcome treat. Nancy, a chef? You allowed your husband to bring a chef. Please, what happened to your hands, Nancy? What happened? What did she have to say? She and her man are back. Thank God. Look at you. <laughs> I'm happy, Helen. If she decides to leave a new man, she will come back to Sam. That's true. She should just keep staying away. She should go and marry Jaffet. Have you seen him? I've seen him in the club with Chike and Benson one time. I can't imagine how someone would be friends with one and single eye to take their wife. Call it greed, because that's exactly what it is, Helen. Yeah, greed. Greed and uncontentment. Yeah, you're right, sis. She has really lost a good man, believe me. Because I bet this new man won't take care of her like Sam. He's actually taking good care of her. Really? I went to the store he got for her. So now he says, wow. Look, my mouth was just opened. He's really big and filled with different items. She's got what she wanted. Yes, she has. And she's happy that the most important thing here. My goal is to make Sam also happy and forget about her. After everything I did for her, look at how she treated me women i bet the new man she's with has got a lot of money or oh, what has he got that she decided she would leave me for him good afternoon sir my in-law benson you're welcome thank you how are you doing i'm doing fine and you benson i'm doing fine as well and how's my sister oh she's taking good care of you yes she is and thank you for the other day i told you to, to stop thanking me please stop it it's okay i can't help but thank you it is all good, Benson. Thank God for everything. Hope you're not thinking about anything. I am not. You shouldn't think. You should be happy and grateful for everything instead. I am grateful for it all, Benson. So have you decided on the next step to take? Signing the papers. Signing the papers? I don't even know where I kept it. How is everything going, man? All going okay. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Don't tell me she has called you as well. Who? Becky. Did she call you? Yes, she did. Jaffet. I don't want us to talk about this, man. See, I know what I'm doing. Do you? You have a son there. Yes, and I'll take full responsibility of him. That's a promise. But I and Becky must not be together anymore. I see. How's home? Is your wife back? She is back and with her mom as well. She came with her mom? Yeah. The mom doesn't want to stay alone with the loss of her son, you know. She can be thinking at home. It's cool. I get that. Yeah. And you're cool with it? Do I have a choice here? The mom will leave soon. At most, she will stay for two weeks. I hope so, because I don't think she will leave anytime soon. Don't you want to end things with her? I don't know. You still love her? Yes, I still love her, but I know she doesn't feel the same about me. She's living the best time of her life. You should also do the same. I know that. Is there anyone else? Someone special? <laughs> no, no. No one for now. Maybe I should tell your sister to introduce you to some of her friends. Please don't do that. You might find someone you fancy amongst them. You never can tell. I don't want that for now. I'll be fine, Benson. Thank you for your love and care. Mom, I'll be going to my friend's place. Which of your friend? Sonia's place. Sonia, what about your marriage here? I don't understand, Mom. You are leaving your marriage unattended to Nancy. I'm not doing that, Mom. You are. Look at the way Chike and Chrissy are always talking. Um, it's nothing really. It's something they are both having an affair right under your nose. They are not, mom. They are. I trust Chike, mom. Nancy, why are you like this? Why? You are being negligent on this. I'm not, mom. See, so I have to go now. Is that so? Your friends are more important than your husband at home? Mom, say everything is fine here. Don't worry so much about it. Wow. We'll talk about it when I come back.